The Lakers introduced their new head coach, Mike D'Antoni, on Thursday. He made it clear from the get-go that he knows what his expectations are in Los Angeles. We're built to win this year. This is not a project. Uh, we have a window, and uh, we're going to try to get through it. So, again, I'm excited. Uh, it's going to take a little while just to get everything uh, up to snuff, and we'll go from there. It's basketball, and it's... Uh, I've coached Steve. I know how much fun that is, so I know how much fun I'm going to have. I've coached Kobe. I've coached Dwight. Uh, I know the possibilities that we have. Um, it's endless. We'll be fine. I mean, I think this is going to be great for the team. You know, I know a lot of people are, are hesitant or, you know, about supporting us because of him, but you know, I feel like he's going to be great for us, you know. Um, but it's on the guys on the floor, you know, to get the job done. He, He's the coach, you know, but we're the guys who have to go out there and play, you know, so we we control our destiny. Yeah, he's uh, the dominant center in the league. There's nobody else like him. Um, and I just think he's really, you know, right now he's playing that, you know, 75, 80 percent of what he can do. Uh, every month will get better with his back and his timing and, and get comfortable with what we do. But Dwight is, uh, is a man of himself. I mean, you, you're already good just with him. And I don't care who you put around him. So you put the guys that we have, and no reason why we're not great. We're excited to have him here. Uh, he introduced a few of the principles of offensively and defensively, and, and we went through them today. He didn't get a whole lot uh, done because it was, like I said, it was a lot of talking. It's, it's going to be an adjustment again process uh, to it. Uh, but uh, I think the transition will be uh, quicker uh, with the system. Uh, I think Powell's going to be great. I can't wait to work with him. And, and he'll play some four, he'll play some five. We'll try to open it up a little bit more for him and uh, put him sometimes in his natural position. But uh, we'll move him around and get him comfortable with all kinds of elements. You know, I like, and I know players are criticized a lot, you know, when uh, not being tough enough. And not, you know, I just don't buy into it. He's a tough guy in the sense of he's a skilled guy. But I think the most important thing is, is to have Mike which he's done today. I'll you know, tell them that he supports them and wants them to be aggressive and wants them to play well. If he's a little kid about 12 years old that would uh, come out on court in Italy and uh, hang out and play, and we'd have to beat him off the court to start the second half and never envisioned he would grow up to be Kobe Bryant. Um, but uh, that's where the relationship started, and Americans usually in Europe you know, kind of flock together and eat after games and stuff, so I get to know his parents really well. And, and Kobe, and it just starts from there, and he speaks Italian, and that'd be great. He can come over and cuss me out in Italian, you guys might not even know it. That's great. Uh, we're good. But uh, something about him is that, and I've said this during the time that I didn't, you know, we were having battles, that's the most competitive guy I've ever been around. And whether it's an all-star game or whether it's a pickup game, he's coming at you. And that's why he has the rings he has and has the career that he has had. That's not going to change. And his intensity is something that, as a coach, man, I love it. And it's uh, and he's playing great basketball right now. He's playing as good as he's ever played. If we win a championship, I'll get a fair shake. If we, if we don't, I mean, I, I think everybody knows the deal. Winning takes care of a lot of stuff, and then I got to win. And I, I know I made the, the, the joke that I have some really dear Laker fans, friends, that were disappointed I got the job, and they're good friends. So I know that. I, I, you know, like I said, Phil's a great, great coach. But uh, uh, the reality is I'm extremely fortunate that uh, they went this direction, and I'm going to make it everything I can do to win. And I uh, can't wait to get started.